All right, kids, I'm back. It's the Retromatic Gamer taking a look at probably my favorite arcade game of all time. And unfortunately, not one of my favorite NES games of all time. Rampage. Yep. I remember there was a Chuck E. Cheese near my house my parents would occasionally take me to for various whatevers, whether it was my birthday or someone else's. And I would crank so many tokens into the Rampage machine that it wasn't funny. I love Rampage to this day. It was eventually... I knew there was a 2600 version when my parents got me an NES. I saved up and I got a copy. Because I'm like, dude, Rampage on the NES? It's awesome. Well, sort of. I mean... I can see if I can find some arcade footage to compare it to, but if you've ever seen Rampage on the arcade, and I recommend, you know, using YouTube and looking up footage of Rampage Arcade, you'll see that this does not cut the mustard. And I, I get that the NES is going to suffer some, from some graphical limitations compared to arcade hardware of its time, but gameplay itself... Like, the, God, the Atari version was less picky about where you hit a building to damage it made more sense than this. And it... I... Maybe I was disillusioned because, you know, an arcade game, you can only play it for so long. You play it at home and you can play it for a long hours and get bored, so... Because it's such a long game. I can't even tell you how many levels there are. Because I played it once for like two days straight, paused it, went back to sleep, still didn't finish it. Very simply, I've never seen the ending of Rampage. I don't even know if there is one. There might be. I game genie that shit at one point, and I just didn't have what it takes. And I was rotating out, too. I had three people. It was me and my two sisters. Chris, Katie, if you're watching this, miss you, love you. Because <laughs> they used to love playing this with me, I'll admit. And that's one of the biggest reasons I liked playing it. It was a game that we could rotate out and play simultaneously instead of having to wait and take turns and stuff like that. It was a good game. And there weren't very many other plays and games that we could play together like that. Um, we played Galaxy 5000, which is a, a futuristic racing game. Good lord, we played a lot of Galaxy 5000. Which is a more obscure title. I just think I've just figured out what my next Let's Play is going to have to be just so I can explain the importance and reference point of Galaxy 5000. Needless to say, yeah, we played it a lot. Uh, what else did we play a lot um, that was simultaneously two-player? I couldn't really get him to play any Double Dragon 2. Um, but yeah, Rampage, definitely. Super Mario 3 isn't really simultaneous two-player unless you get to... There's a bit where you can compete with each other and steal each other's power-ups in a basically like a remake of Mario Brothers minigame. But other than that, there weren't a lot of games we could actually just play together all at once. We just, just kind of had to watch each other. But Rampage was an exception. So I will give it credit for that. Ah, I just ate a toilet. Patooey. I mean, it's kind of random. You find stuff to eat, which barely ups your health for as fast as you tend to lose it, especially in later stages. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we at least we played Rampage. We liked it. I rented it a few times before I bought it, too. And I did buy it mostly because, hey, look, with them two around, I did get a lot of use out of the game. All right, fair enough. So, it's, it's kind of a fair to midland game for me. The NES version of Rampage, that is. It doesn't have the luster that can attract you to the arcade version, that attracted me to the arcade version. But, it was worth what I paid for it, because it gave my sisters and me, or stepsisters, you know, there, there ain't no reason to explain the technicality. It gave my sisters and I something to do together. And despite the amount of time we spent together, there really weren't that many things we could do. Like, you know, I could grab their Ken dolls and play Barbies with them, or they could grab my Tila and play He-Man with me, which I was never really keen on, because I was a greedy douchebag of a, of a ten-year-old. But, nonetheless, oh, childhood memories. 
There was a point which I started teaching him how to roleplay when we were teenagers. And we were playing, you know, like Dragonlance and uh, the Batman roleplaying game together. But, anyhow, most of the stuff that I was interested in doing, I, I, I spent, I was, you know, doing it with a friend or more and kind of shutting them out. You know, when I got into Magic the Gathering, I was 13, and God forbid, but I wouldn't teach them to play. I needed stuff that gave me a chance to bond with them, which is something I was never very good at anyway. My only other sibling was seven years older than me. By the time my dad, you know, got serious with their mother. So, God, I'm like telling my fucking life story here. It's like... YouTube has become my personal shrink and all 15 of my subscribers. Which, by the way, I now have 15 subscribers. That sounds like shit. It sounds like nothing. Except that I am damn proud of having 15 subscribers. Because at least half of them are people that don't know me personally. That means, 15, that means at least half of 15 people are actually entertained, listening to my ass. So that's 15 subscribers I'm goddamn excited to have. So thank you, folks. I appreciate every last one of you. If I have entertained even one person with any of my videos, like Tacto Manifix, he's my new, he's one of my newer subscribers, and he's been commenting on my videos. Dude, heads up, props. I'm doing, I'm apparently doing some good. But anyhow, now this was one of the things that my sisters and I could actually kind of share. So. A mediocre game as it is, it had a good place in my childhood, I'll give it that. Um, it kind of shines in two player, I don't have a second player on hand to show you, but really it's just two people doing the same thing with the option to punch each other silly. And all that, I don't, it's not a good game at that, you know? If you really want to play a game where you punch the hell out of each other, you're better off playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter, or Double Dragon, the, the, the fighting mode of Double Dragon 1, or, I don't know, anything but Rampage, where all you do is punch each other and jump at each other. Need some people to regain some health here, oh crap, oh, I'm gonna die here. I'll give the game at least one continue, though. Because I could be playing worse games. I could be playing Bad Street Brawler right now. But I'm not. I'm playing Rampage. So, yeah. I'll give it some time. Uh, Contra. Yeah, my sisters wouldn't play Contra. Uh, well, I, I don't think... I didn't have Contra back when I was playing games with them anyway. Which, truth is... Dude, Contra is hard. I'm not going to expect little sisters that are four years younger than me to keep up with your ass in a run-and-gun shooting game that's as hard balls as Contra is. Hell, the first time I rented Contra when I was a kid, I couldn't even beat the damn first level anyway. It wasn't until I was an adult that I actually finally played through Contra. I still use the frickin' cheat code. I don't think I've ever beaten Contra straight up. Oh boy. But I didn't have it, it wasn't an option, so there you have it. Alright, so I'm punching buildings, I'm getting bored already. I don't remember ever getting bored of the arcade version. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, maybe it's like, you know, the opposite of Minecraft. Because, you know, so many people get off on Minecraft, including me. Including me. I, I do a Let's Play video about Minecraft, but, you know, it's like, you know, leads to other drugs kind of thing. Where the next thing you know, I'm dedicating, like, all my videos to Minecraft. I'm not sure that's an avenue I'm willing to risk. Yay, superpower pill. <laughs> anyway... No, Minecraft's big addiction is like playing with Legos because you can build everything. You just build shit, right? Well, anybody who's played with Legos knows that there's two important fun things about playing with Legos. One of them's building shit. The other one's breaking shit. 
And that's all you do in Rampage. Like in Minecraft, all you do is build shit until you're bored of building shit, and then you stop building shit. In Rampage, you break shit until you're bored of breaking shit. Then you stop breaking shit. So, in theory, I could give it that. It was great stress relief as a kid. If I'd come home pissed off at some bully or whatever, had a bad day at school, I'd come home, crank up Rampage, and blow off steam. What the? He shot me right off the side of the screen. Hell, man. You really want me having that power pill. Doing. 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 Oops. Oh, I guess I ain't grabbing that building side. I'll grab that one. And punch. Ow, bombs. God, you take a lot of damage in this game. And I'm down. Fuck it. R she blows. That's another problem. It's like, dude, if the game's all about breaking shit, breaking shit, why does the game, like, break shit for you? You know, you're, you're taking too long, so they're going to come in and start blowing up their own buildings. Really? I understand it's an 80s era game. It's not about realism. But who the hell in any fantasy world, in, in the real world or any fantasy world, would be like, yo, there's monsters in our city. What are we going to do? We're going to save them the trouble and blow up all our buildings on our own. Who the fuck would say that ever? Really? Like, I'm just, ugh. And I'm sure there's some, like, 9-11 conspiracy theorists that are going to be out there going, Well, dude, you'd be surprised. I'm, no, look, I'm not going to get into that debate. All I'm saying is, there's a giant monkey in our city eating people, and tearing buildings down. Let's help him tear down our buildings ourselves by setting bombs at the bases of our buildings. Here comes another guy down there in the bottom right with another friggin' bomb. He's gonna set it on a building. He is gonna blow up a building just so I don't. You know what? Fuck him! Punch, punch, punch. I almost finished it. I was going to blow it up first anyway, just because I could. But who really does that? I mean, look. There aren't that many real-world corollaries. But I'm certain in the real world... We're not going to, like, help a giant monster do their job for them. We sure as hell... Ugh. I'd, I'd have to join the debate to finish that remark, but... You know, someone says, uh, someone decides, you know, leave a bomb threat in the school building. What do we do? We empty out the school building. We clear out the people. We clear the school building. We try to set to, to unset the bomb. We don't go in and say, oh, yeah, well, we're going to blow it up first so you can't. No. And I'm pretty sure it didn't happen that way in King Kong when the friggin' monkey was destroying shit in the city and he climbed up the Empire State Building. They didn't blow up the Empire State Building and get the giant monkey off the Empire State Building. And Ghostbusters, stay puffed the Marshmallow Man. Nobody steps on a church in my town. Did they blow up the church to keep Stay Puff from stepping on it? No. When he started climbing the freaking Spook Central Building, did they blow it up? No. They're like, oh my god, it's a giant monster. We don't know what to do. We're going to hope someone stops that giant monster. So that we don't lose any more buildings than we have to. All the property damage and loss of life. It's insane. Why would they help? But they do that in this game. To try to get you the fuck out of a level. Be like, yo, stop effing around and get done. Matter of fact, we're going to help. Oh, one more life. Why not? I guess that's the one thing Rampage has for it. It's so easy to just play a little bit more. A little bit more. Why not? A little bit more. What the fuck is this tank in it? You son of a bitch! There you go. I didn't even touch that building. They're like, tear it down before the monkey does! You have any idea how many more people he killed than would have jumped out of that building if I started climbing it? Fuck him! Damn, I'm dropping some F-bombs. I guess it's easy to understand why. 
Yay! That's another section of the U.S. of A. So you can see that there's going to be a shite ton of levels. And there's parts of this country that are going to start rebuilding themselves, and you have to revisit places you've already been to tear those buildings down again. So if, if I remember right, there's like over 200 possible levels to play all the way through a rampage. So the game's really kind of not designed for you to be able to beat it. There's no password system, so it's not like you can stop and pick up somewhere else where you left off. Oh, if it's 200 or 100, I just know that there's a lot of rampage, and no sane person would ever want to play through the whole quantity, the whole number of levels at once. So, if anything, it's a bit too long for a game that's just not as fun as the arcade version. I will say this, if Xbox Live Arcade ever got off their asses and released a freaking emulation of the arcade rampage, take my money, please. I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 1989 arcade game. I don't have a hell of a lot of arcade games on Xbox Live Arcade. <laughs> but I do know that Rampage is one I'd pay for. I paid for the Mortal Kombat trilogy. I paid for Robotron 2084. Granted, that's because I bought it the, the code off of somebody on eBay for a dollar. I don't think I'd have paid full price for Robotron. But I would probably pay for Afterburner. And I would definitely pay for Rampage. And not, you know, not, I don't want a damn HD remake fucking operates with Kinect. I just want a port of the arcade game. Because I miss it. And I don't remember it being on any console as it appeared in the arcade. I know there was an N64 remake that I never even played. I should probably try that out. Maybe it's closer to the experience than the NES game was. But, so... Here we are, my biggest mixed emotion, mixed bag on the Nintendo Entertainment System, Rampage. My, one of my favorite arcade games, if not my absolute favorite arcade game, and one of my not favorite NES games. Thank you folks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, I can still recommend the game, because it's not bad, and if you have a friend, two-player mode's not bad. You can punch each other, you can do crazy weird stuff. And... Ultimately, it's a way to get to kill some time if you want to drink some beers and have a day. So, rampage for the NES, folks. Thank you for watching. Have a gooder.